What was the response of the school to your book? Uh, the response of the school to my book was varied. Uh, and um, so the head of the school at the time sent me an email telling me he was no longer talking to me, um, which was sort of a strange email to receive from a 70-year-old man. Um, in general, the school, I think, you have to keep in mind, is a very powerful institution. And so um, one little book by one little academic isn't really going to do much to damage the reputation of a you know, century-and-a-half-old institution. Um, and on um, you know, the other, I think that the school took the book as a, a little bit of a sort of learning experience. So the, the new head of the school you know, gives the book out. Um, he he uh, thinks of it as a kind of reflection. Um, but another, I think, advantage for the school is that academic projects take a while. So they, you know, when I was done with the project, it's not as if the book came out. It, it took another five years for me to get the book, you know, written and then published. And um, no one who was at the school as a student was still at the school by the time the book was published. And that kind of turnaround allows the, allowed the school to sort of say, there's some truth to this book. There's some things that we disagree with. But, you know, we've moved forward as an institution. We've fixed a lot of these problems. And um, so uh, I think that that sort of allowed them to have a kind of a distance, uh, a comfortable distance from the argument. I also think that the, well, the book is somewhat challenging to the school. It is not, uh, it's not too salacious or critical. Um, and in many ways, the people who like, liked the book the most from the school saw it in the way that I was trying to write it, which is that it's not a book about St. Paul's School. It's a book about the changing dynamic of elites, class, and race in American life, and it uses the school to make the argument. And so if the argument has legs, if it's a, if it's a strong argument, it doesn't require St. Paul's to make the argument. I could have and should have been able to do it in other kinds of places. And so I think you know trying to write the book in that way to both give an accurate ethnographic portrait of this place without making it so much about the place that it couldn't be generalizable beyond it, helped people at the school see that what I was talking about was changing uh, American dynamics of the elite rather than St. Paul's School in 2005.